Okie dokie. Well, it looks like we got some bigger rounds to split. And although bigger rounds might seem a little intimidating, size doesn't always correlate with level of difficulty. And there are a few factors to keep in mind when it comes to chopping difficulty. One of them is the type of wood you're chopping. Typically conifers, like pines, are gonna be easier to split than deciduous trees, like oaks and maples. Another factor you wanna think about is the moisture level of the wood. Dry wood is gonna be easier to chop than freshly felled wet wood. If a tree's been freshly cut down, it's probably gonna have a high moisture content and therefore more dense and harder to chop. So usually it's easier to chop wood that's been drying out. You also wanna take a look at the grain. Is there any knots or twisted grain in the wood? Cause those are gonna be challenging to get through. Now, before we start chopping, we wanna to try to find the path of least resistance. We wanna see if there's already any cracks or openings in the wood. Usually you'll start to see some cracks in dry wood, meaning that the water content in the wood is drying out. And on this piece, we do see a little opening. So let's try to aim here. There's that opening. Lovely. Now this wood is pretty fresh, so we don't see any cracks. We also wanna look for any knots or twisted grain. Here we have a knot, so we're not gonna chop this path. So instead, we're gonna aim for this area. And when you do need to tackle an area with a knot, instead of trying to chop across it, think about chopping parallel to it. So just kind of skimming it. When it comes to wood chopping, knots can be a pain to deal with, but because of the density of the wood, knotted pieces will burn for a long time and make some great fire logs. The type of ax you're using will also make a big difference. If you're splitting bigger rounds, you might wanna go for a wider head, like a splitting maul. These help to push out the wood as you chop. But if you're not comfortable with a bigger, heavier ax, that's totally fine. The most important thing is to feel comfortable and confident with the tool that you're using. You can always start smaller, and with confidence, you can work your way up. And if you wanna build up some confidence with your ax, check out some of my other videos. Generally, there are two chopping patterns for splitting big rounds. One is to try to split right down the center. This approach usually takes a bit longer to get the first split, because the center is a pretty dense part of the wood. But once you get that initial chop, it gets pretty easy after. Alternatively, you can start from the outside and chop your way to the middle. And this approach doesn't need as much initial force. You're just going piece by piece. Well, I hope that helped with your wood chopping journey and happy splitting.